Welcome to the Sign Writing Stream, where we show, teach, and demo all about Sutton Sign Writing. This week, getting involved with the Sutton Sign Writing movement. Let's get started. As always, hop on over to our open chat on Gitter. We'd love to hear from you. Comments and questions are always welcome. When we talk about getting involved, there's many ways that we can get involved with Sutton Sign Writing. First of all, we have several places where we can have open discussions. We have our Gitter open chat. We also have, we have the sign writing email list form where we have the archives going all the way back to 1997 and the discussion continues to this day. You can also join us over on our Facebook group, the Sutton Sign Writing Group. We have posts Every day, people from around the world sharing what they're doing with sign writing. You can also see my posted videos there as well. Also, if you would like to get involved, you can open an issue on the Sutton Sign Writing Get Involved project, and we can uh, facilitate some discussion that way as well. After discussion, there is also, you can be a Sign Puddle 2 historian. We have open sourced Sign Puddle 2. You can find that on GitHub. And we have an extensive readme talking about the changes that we're going to be making. This is mostly written in PHP and it is available for modification. If you want to look more into the technology, you can look at the formal sign writing internet draft uh, that is available online as well. Or there is the Sutton Sign Writing Project on GitHub, and that has an extensive guide that talks about fonts and scalar vector graphics, HTML, CSS, and also the JavaScript. If we're going to be getting involved in sign writing, it also helps if you understand formal sign writing. Formal sign writing has five major sections dealing with the character types of sign writing in Unicode SWU and formal sign writing in ASCII FSW. You need to understand both of those. You can have, uh, you can talk about text, which is made up of sign words and punctuation. Um, there's also images. You need to know the difference between scalar and, uh, huh, scalable and uh, raster. Um, for searching, you need to know about transformations and query strings and regular expressions. And finally, the styling string and how that affects with CSS, the canvas, and the plain text strings themselves. All right, for getting involved, there is also the API services that we will be developing. Those are going to deal with interfaces and dictionaries, literatures, alphabets for simple subsets, fingerspelling for automatic creation of uh, the fingerspelling with sign writing, and also keyboard input. Um, those API services are, uh, there's older services that we already have, but we're going to be recreating those and redoing those, probably using a, a PHP package called Symphony. So that is an exciting possibility. App developers, if you want to make an app for sign writing, we have all kinds of resources available we would love for you to use. Um, we have APIs that are currently existing and uh, we're hoping to get more powerful APIs so that you can actually leverage these and improve your applications for sign writing. Um, a system administrator, we're doing a new, su uh, new server move this year. Um, it's going to be going to CentOS. If you're an experienced system administrator and you want to get involved and, and help out, we'd love to have your, uh, your help. A Wikimedia technician. The sign language Wikipedias are still available on Incubator. And you can check out a uh, idea lab where we talk about the sign writing team and the written sign language projects. Particularly, if you go down here, you can find the information all about the uh, incubator and also the Wikimedia VPS cloud. Incubator is where we have uh, the user interface that needs to be improved and modernized. And the Wikimedia cloud VPS, that is where we have several servers that are up and running that uh, deal with sign writing. If you want to get involved and take over these projects, you would be most welcome to do that. 
Um, and then we get on to the core, uh, the core package for sign writing and the font packages. Those are ready for review right now. You can find those on GitHub where we have the font TTF, the core, and the font database package. Let's look at the core. The core, specifically you want to look at the source. I think the source is nicely organized and I think the, the functions are properly organized as well. If you want to help out with this project, there are six functions that need to be rewritten. You can find those three in the FSW query, and that would include the range function, the regex function, and the results function. This also is, uh, needs to be written for the SWU query, the same three functions. If you take a look at the, the range function, it is working, it's fully tested, but it needs to be rewritten to be a lot cleaner and a lot more understandable. Let's see, there's also the font packages. I was talking about the database font, font package for Node and the true type font package for the browser. These packages need to be reviewed. Comments, questions, issues, happy to hear about that. The next area or the next major area of development will be with components. And these will be reusable components that we can just drop in any project that deals with sign writing. Um, the technology that we're going to focus on and use is a little bit up in the air, but if you want to get involved in that, your perspective, your ideas, always welcome. And finally, if you want to get involved with sign writing, consider organizing, either uh, spreading awareness, telling people about it, showing people. Um, you can also create working groups of people that just sit down together to work on either just learning to write themselves or to create applications or projects or uh, build some ideas that they can share with, with other people. And all, as always, your financial support is appreciated if you want to join the Patreon campaign. We are 63% of the way towards our funding goal for the new server. So, love to see if you would get involved in the project. Go ahead and find out some places where the discussion is going on and add your... Uh, Add your voice. Thanks for watching.